Hey folks, it's Tom, your frugal prepper. So, uh, just a kind of a, a garden thing. I just like to show these things for people who don't know. This is a, another advantage of the Mitlighter T-frames as well. And you can actually build hoops that go up and over if you want to do it that way. I've never built those. But I just got my big roll of burlap out. Cut some 10 foot sections because the 10 foot sections come handy for covering seeds later. <laughs> um, but uh, I just, you know, use some clamps, put some two by fours on the bottom to weight them down. We don't have any big storms coming. If we have any big storms coming, I'll come roll these up and reclamp them. But uh, the uh, idea here is the second law of plant growth is temperature. Uh, there, there's, you know, certain temperatures that seeds like to germinate at, there's certain temperatures that plants like to grow at, and some plants are just a little more sensitive. And we've just had some uncanny hot days here in uh, Ohio uh, with very little clouds to block out any of the sun, so it's just getting full hot sun. Now, while the temperature has been staying in the 90s, it's getting uh, out, uh, putting the thermometer out here in the garden in the sunlight, it's hitting 120s. And it's just cooking these cucumbers. The other plants don't seem to bind too much. I have a little leaf wrinkle going on in some of the beans, but they're pretty good. The tomatoes, the peppers, they don't care. But these cucumbers are not happy. And the peas, they could use a little shade too because they don't, they don't like it getting too hot. <laughs> so, I just uh, cut some burlap up, throw it over the T-frames, use some clothes pins, some vice grips, <laughs> some clamps, whatever I have, just to hold it up here uh, temporarily until we get through some of these really super hot sunny days. Um, I just need these to survive another two to three weeks. I'll have enough to make all my pickles for the year. <laughs> So that's the goal, um, is just to keep them from wilting. Uh, they wilt back really bad during the day, and then most of them bounce back um, at night. Um, and I'm still getting some cucumbers. In fact, this one is more than ready to pick here for a pickler. Um, and then I just, these will stay for, you know, a good four weeks. I yeah, just put them in a Ziploc bag in the fridge with a moist paper towel. And they'll stay till I'm ready to make the uh, pickles. Um, so, yeah, just have to just have to keep them going another two to three weeks, and I'll have what I need, and I can take these out. But uh, you know, putting some shade cloth up is ideal, and I just use burlap. Burlap blocks about 30 to 40 percent of the sunlight. Um, you can get heavier shade cloths um, and stuff. Uh, you can get like reusable super high quality shade cloth i get these rolls of burlap off of amazon pretty cheap like i've had this roll for three years and been using it and it still isn't down to half its size <laughs> so I, I think i paid like 30 or 40 bucks for this big old roll um but uh yep just got to control the sun sometimes on your plants um, temperature is really important and different plants like slightly different temperatures I mean you know peas won't last long in this kind of heat either so uh, this will cover my sun as it comes up over the house and I get like about six or seven hours of sunlight before I'm back behind the trees um, so um, you know this by the time it gets to the edge of this the trees up here will be shading it out so um, Sometimes you're better off to cut down on some of that sunlight and control the temperature Although plants do like Sun and they like light and they need light when you combine the light with really high temps and It's just out here baking <laughs> 20 degrees um, you know, in the sunlight, beating down on it. That's the temperature that's hitting those leaves. And the plants, um, you know, plants wilt to help control the temperature, right? So uh, they, they, they wilt back during the day, but in it's heat stress. It's not that there's a lack of water in the soil. Um, 
they're just reducing their exposure to the sunlight but they get too stressed and leaves and stuff start to die you know the plant will sacrifice parts of itself to save the rest so at some point you have to give it a little bit of protection so anyway that's all i got i'll talk to y'all later this is tom your frugal prepper